here I am again, back at work in the garden. Um, I have a crop of sweet corn around me, and I would like to plant a cover crop in between the crop. Corn's a big, tall plant, and it takes quite a bit of competition, so it's possible while you're growing corn to also grow a cover crop. I'm going to go beyond that yet, because I want to do a double whammy here. I want to use alfalfa on one side of the corn, because it will fix nitrogen and enrich the soil here. On the other side, I want to use mustard, because the mustard will drive the nematodes out of this region for the next crop that I put in after the corn. The way I'm doing this is I'm using my old-fashioned antique seeding hoe here. These are kind of hard to find with that kind of a narrow point. They make a lot of them today that are wider. I don't like those as much. Those are more for potatoes and things. This is really good for seeding. Got a long handle on it. I just going through the patch out here. Take this hoe and just making little trenches like that on either side of the corn plants. And what's going to happen here is one side's going to get the mustard, the other side's going to get the alfalfa. Well, I'm going to start off here with the uh, with the mustard. This is a specific variety known as Mighty Mustard Pacific Gold. It's available from Johnny Selected Seeds. Um, it's a good cover crop on its own right. It grows very fast and so on and so forth. But it's really good if you got problems with, with burrowing nematodes. They don't like this stuff. So, going to go with the alfalfa. And the variety of alfalfa I'm using here is called summer alfalfa. This is an annual type. I don't want it hanging around for a long period of time. And alfalfa doesn't really grow that well in Hawaii anyway, but it should work out and help uh, fix the nitrogen around the corn. takes care of the alfalfa. Now, the same hoe that I used to open the furrows, I'm going to go ahead and use it to close them. A lot less work than getting down on your hands and knees. Taking the seeding hoe, pulling it along the top of the furrow. As I do that, it's Simple as that. Did most of it standing up to, thanks to this old long handled tool here. Um, this thing will cut grooves for the seeds. It closes the grooves as you saw. It's also good when turned sideways as a cultivator blade. So you can take out some of the weeds as you go. I, I did. There were a few weeds I missed with the flamer in there between the corn. So I took care of them with this as I went by. Now, Corn, again, is a rather tall and vigorous crop, and it really doesn't mind if you have things like beans growing at the base of it, for instance, or squash rambling between. Um, it's also okay to have weeds under your corn, to an extent. Uh, the weeds will steal some water and nutrients and so on, do a little competition, but it still doesn't usually stop corn much, particularly if the weeds are kind of short. And so in a case like this, what I just did is I just planted my own weeds. These mustard is on one side of the stalk, the alfalfa is on the other. As they grow, they're going to kind of close in around the bottom of the corn over there to help prevent some of the weed seeds from growing so well. So we're going to suppress weeds. We're going to hold the soil from erosion. We're going to fix nitrogen, and we're going to chase away nematodes, all just by sowing two different kinds of seeds either side of my corn. So we have a 
cover crop working within a standing crop. Aloha. Have a wonderful day in the garden. Thanks for watching.